first guy I talked to, he's offering me cocaine. And it was actually really funny because like everybody I talked to that I said I was going to Colombia, they told me about this as a joke, but I wasn't like expecting to be like, you know, the first person I talked to in Colombia. The guy who actually made the mastermind himself, he told me he was at 1.5 million profit per month right now. Obviously, that's over eight figures annually in profit. And his goal is like a hundred million dollars in profit per year in profit, which is insane. And he actually like explained to me how he planned on reaching that. What's up, you guys? So it's 4 a.m. in the morning, and I just woke up and I need to do my jump rope, a little bit of cardio for like 15 minutes. And then after that, I'll do some planks and I'm gonna go to the airport to go to Medellin, Colombia. Let's do it. All right, so I am on four hours of sleep, but I still need to do the cardio because I've been on the street for like two to three weeks or I've even potentially maybe like four weeks where I've been doing like cardio every single day and training every single day really hard, uh, lifting heavy on key lifts like squat, deadlift, and bench. And I've been bulking for like a few months now, again, actually 10 pounds. So yeah, I start making excuses. So let's go for 15 minutes and counting right now. All right guys, so we made it to the hotel yesterday night at like 2 a.m. in the morning after having spent like two hours at the airport. And yeah, this is the view that I have from the hotel. I'm on the 13th floor, which is the highest floor of the hotel. And this is like considered like a penthouse, even though it's quite really like quite small. But yeah, beautiful view, beautiful little room that I'll be staying in four to five days for the mastermind. So basically the plan is for me to take a shower and then go eat. And then after that, the mastermind will start at like 9 a.m. and it'll last all day long. And then hopefully I have some time to go to the hotel's gym, spa, to chill a little bit. And then after that, get some rest because I haven't slept that much in the last few days. And then after that, the next day, we'll We'll start over again with the mastermind and then the day after we're supposed to go water rafting so i probably won't be able to bring the camera because uh obviously you know i don't want to mess up the camera or risk it but uh yeah 
it will be fun. And then uh, just a little side note as well. I don't know if you guys like them or not when I do like these little uh, stories, but the first person I talked to when I landed in Colombia as a, a taxi driver, like supposedly a, someone that like, you know, drives you around and stuff like that. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, I was ordering a Uber basically and I got flooded by like five, six people, you know, offering me for a taxi, right? That was okay. I was actually expecting this because uh, my uncle actually is going to Medellin a couple of times every year for work. And he told me that, but that's not the thing. The thing is I meet this one guy and he's actually really, really funny. And he's like, you know, I'm ordering a Uber and he sees it and I'm telling him, yo, I already have a Uber coming. It's all right, man. Uh, no thanks. And he's like, oh, cancel, man. Can't cancel your Uber. Like I have great experience. I have great experience in my, my Uber uh, or in my taxi. My, mine is like better, you know, cancel your stuff. Anyways, it's, it's just really funny. The guy was really friendly. And you know, first guy I talked to, he's offering me cocaine. And it was actually really funny because like everybody I talked to that I said I was going to Colombia, they told me about this as a joke, but I wasn't like expecting to be like, you know, the first person I talked to in Colombia. But anyways, it was quite funny. Met some great people at the airport and also actually took the time to work out at the airport as well because I had a layover of like six hours in Florida. So yeah, I did a little chest workout of like an hour at the airport lounge. I got access to like a, you know, I launched um, with Amex with the platinum business card. And then I also stretched over there like for 15 minutes. And the reason I'm telling you this is because a few months ago, I wouldn't have done this, right? Like worked out in public somewhere I don't even really know. Like in Florida, for example, where there's like a bunch of people looking at me and like, I kind of like look dumb working out where all like other people like just chilling, eating right next to me or like, yeah, just chilling in a lounge. And right now I got to a point where like, I don't really care about what people think. And I just want to execute on what I'm supposed to be doing, right? To reach the goals I want to reach. And if it's not contributing to my goals, my health goals, or my work and my business, I just don't focus on them. I don't do it, right? And right now, this is the only like two focuses I have in my life. And you know, I've been having a lot of momentum in the last few days, which is great. So every single day, including Saturdays and Sundays, I've been working out, doing cardio, stretching, and really pushing heavy on key lifts like bench, squats, deadlift, and it really helps. And I started also working every single day. I used to like not work on Saturdays. Now I started working on Saturdays as well, just to keep the momentum. And I find it really helps instead of like breaking the momentum on Saturdays and then having to like restart the week again. It felt like a big task to like restart the week, but now I'm like always on the grind and I find it like easier to like keep it going, if that makes sense. So yeah, guys, leave your dreams, leave your dreams. Don't leave your dreams, live your dreams, chase your goals and focus on yourself. And by doing this, you also attract other people who are on the same path as you, which is really funny because when I was working out at the airport, looking like a dumbass in front of everybody, actually one guy like came up to me and was like, Hey man, like, are you working out for like a competition or something? Like you want to compete on stage or something? I was like, no man, I'm just like working out cause I'm disciplined and I'm, I want to reach my goals. You know what I mean? And then we started like having a good conversation. And then there was another guy afterwards that was working there. He came up to me and we had like a 20 minute talk on like, you know, discipline, working out and stuff like that. He like told me he used to work out when he was younger and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, you'll just attract people who like, are already doing this or already want to do this. And then the funny thing is as well, at the airport in Orlando in Florida, I saw this one guy with the $100 million offer book by Alexa Morsi in his hand. And I was like, this guy for sure is an entrepreneur. And I, I went up to him and then we started talking basically. And then indeed he was an entrepreneur. And then, you know, at the airport also in uh, Medellin, Colombia, uh, we started talking about like our businesses and how we can like potentially work together and stuff like that. And now we like added each other on IG to see if we can collaborate. But anyways, just to say that, you know, if you put yourself out there and you show, you know, what you're doing and stuff like that on social media or even in public, like I did, yes, it will be uncomfortable. And yes, you might have people judging you, hating, but these are people who are broke. These are people who don't have any dreams or self-confidence or who are insecure because they see you chasing your dreams and they wish they would be doing the same thing and have the courage to do the same thing, but they don't. So instead of pulling you up, they try to 
like bring you down basically to make themselves feel better. But anyways, just know that someone who hates will never be like doing more than you in life. If someone hates, you can 100% know for sure they are doing less than you. And this is why they are hating in the first place. So I'll go take a shower and then go to the mastermind and then we'll see you guys after that. What's up guys, so we are day number two. It is Saturday right now and uh, just woke up. And yesterday we covered customer success, client success, and how to provide like a world, an A-class world service and results. And yeah, how to scale the company basically through a brand, referrals and affiliates. And tomorrow we'll be covering, I mean not tomorrow, today we are covering offer, lead generation, client acquisition, sales. Um, so I'm really excited for this as this is the biggest bottleneck right now for us and the company. And uh, yeah, I think it would be really valuable. We also did a bit of like uh, networking at the end of the event, met a bunch of like dope people. Um, a lot of people there actually said they saw my ads, which is pretty funny because they didn't even like follow me before or checked out my page. It wasn't like a retargeting ad because we were in the same group already or same mastermind. It's actually like a cold, cold ad. Like, yeah, we, they didn't even know me before and uh, they, they basically see my ads every single day on Instagram or Facebook, which is pretty funny. So yeah, that is pretty much it. The view is insane. Once again, look at this view. This is insane. The people here are great. I love the culture. Um, they're really relaxed, uh, you know, friendly. They take their time and stuff like that. They're not stressed out like in Canada or in the States, uh, which I love. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We'll go to the second day right now.
All right, so it is my last day today in Medellin. I'll be taking my flight in about four hours. So I'll do like an hour of work right here at the hotel. And then I'll go to the airport, to the lounge, and probably work like three, four hours and try to hit another chest workout. Uh, when I'll be there at the airport uh, lounge and looking like a damas once again in front of everybody. Uh, but this is what we need to do to get the gains and to also reach the goals uh, with the business. So just to uh, wrap this vlog uh, up, I want to tell you a bit about like my thinking regarding this, uh, you know, me going to this mastermind and a little bit about some of the insights as well that I learned. I'll probably do actually a separate video um, that I'll link down below this video on specifically what I learned at this mastermind so that you guys can actually learn from this. But overall, I was actually the youngest over there, right? I'm 21 years old right now, and all the other entrepreneurs there were, you know, some of them were actually 22, 23, granted, uh, a few of them, uh, but majority of them were in their late 20s or early 30s, some of them in their 40s as well, each earning multiple six figures, seven figures, and I don't know if some of the students were actually earning eight figures, I don't think so, but obviously, you know, Ravi, the guy who actually made the mastermind himself, he told me he was at 1.5, million profit per month right now. Obviously that's over eight figures annually in profit. And his goal is like a hundred million dollars in profit per year in profit, which is insane. And he actually like explained to me how he planned on reaching that. Um, when we were like at the, uh, one of the bars, uh, we went on like a rooftop. It was insane. Like the view was crazy. I'll put some pictures right here or some clips. And then, um, yeah, he just, you know, I, I, I had like a one-on-one -on -one with him for like 20, 30 minutes or like, he just talked to me about like, you know, ask him about his goals and his vision and stuff like that. And a few more personal questions as well. I actually told, ask him like questions about like training and bulking. Cause obviously that guy's like super big as well. Um, and he used to be skinny too, which I didn't know. I thought he was like, he was born with like a huge frame, which is impressive. So yeah, he gave me a few tips there as well on uh, what I can improve with like my nutrition and my training. And then, uh, yeah, but overall what I wanted to say regarding the event is the fact that, you know, putting yourself in situations like these or environments like these or in programs or masterminds where you are either like the youngest, the dumbest or like a beginner is really uncomfortable. Right. Cause obviously when I was there, I like felt a little bit behind cause some of the people like are so far ahead of me, but this is what you need to do to like grow and evolve. Right. It's, it, it's not comfortable, but it puts you in these situations where like you think differently and you see things differently as well. And you get a bunch of ideas from people who are like way more successful than you. And this is what I try to do in every area of my life. Right. I try to do this at the gym as well. I train with people who are like better than me that know more than me on uh, training and gym and I also go up to like you know people who are actually to the level of fitness that I want at the gym and ask them a few questions here and there ask them to spot me and then at the same time like you know ask them questions about my form and you know ask always ask for advice right like I always try to keep a humble mentality and I think this is one of the biggest advantage that I have or one of the greatest like asset because I'm always like willing to learn and improve even though I already reach a certain level of success with the business or with uh, training. I always like keep a beginner's mentality where I don't know everything. I'll never know everything. And there's always room for improvement. And uh, it was pretty, pretty fun. The overall event was crazy. I went rotter rafting yesterday as well, the whole day in the jungle. It was beautiful and it was just, peaceful as well. You know, even though water rafting is supposed to be like intense, there, there was like, you know, some moments that were like really intense and uh, waterfalls, but um, some of the moments were like, just, we're just like cruising in the river and, um, you know, hearing the birds and hearing the sounds of the jungle. I was like almost meditating at that point. And it was like great to like be unplugged and like not be connected to like my phone or the computer for like a whole day. So yeah, that was great. And, you know, talking to Ravi was also awesome. Gave me a lot of insight about like the business, the personal side of things as well on like how he thinks, how he views the world and stuff like that. And it was also great to see how disciplined he is, which is something that I think I have, but still need to work on a little bit because sometimes I like slip, but I'm happy to see that he is disciplined. He got there because of like discipline and consistency. Cause sometimes we're like, 
you know, I'm super disciplined and consistent, but like I don't see the results I'm looking for, but it's just a matter of like sticking with it. He was like, man, you just have to like be consistent and disciplined for like, you know, do this for like two, three, four or five years and you'll see. Cause I've been obviously disciplined and consistent in the past, but like not as I am right now. So yeah, overall great experience. And I'll definitely join more masterminds like these um, to just meet new people, have fresh ideas and yeah, be surrounded with people who are winning in life and people who are like killing it, which is exactly what I want. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain. So the reason why all the people there are successful, obviously is like, you know, the cost of the mastermind, I mean, at this time is like $50,000 USD. So for me, it was like 64 or $65,000 Canadian. So obviously all the people who are at the mastermind are like successful at some given point. <laughs> if you can afford like a mastermind of like $50,000, you do have some kind of success in the business. So that's one thing as well. Like if you are looking to join like masterminds or like programs, stuff like that, be careful of like the level of the entry point. Like like obviously the lower the cost, the lower the, not necessarily, but like most of the time, the lower the, the level of like other members are in terms of like their success. And obviously the more it costs, man, the, the more like successful the people will be. So that's one of the things as well that I wanted to like, okay, I invest 50 grand, but like, yeah, I'm surrounded with people who are like, you know, earning like $200,000 per month profit and not even like satisfied with this. And they want to reach like 500K profit per month or like a million per month. So yeah built for you. Overall, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.